Hey, I like these guys' rides because we're twinning out here. <laughs> six by six by six by six. This dude certified has us beat. He's got a 10 by 10. Got two in the front, three in the back. Listen to how loud the tires are. He's locked in, bro. You seen him? He was like... <laughs> we got NPCs in our military now. <laughs> You got this huge hotel, and then you got the world's smallest elevator for it. <laughs> it looks like it was bigger at one point or something. But this is like a four or five story giant Hilton. Endless amounts of rooms on this. Yeah, this is the only one that everybody on the rally has to be using for transport. Good news is we'll probably run into somebody right now. Let's see. Yeah, the odds of... Oh, well, yep. I was just gonna say, the odds of this tiny elevator being empty are so slim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh shit, it's on the right floor. <laughs> Yo, get back in, get back in. Good morning on Legends Rally Day 2. Starting out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are going to Las Vegas, driving through Sedona. And it is going to be a good day. We have uh, some of the cars out in the lot. And then we have us, which I don't know if you guys can visualize this. We're sagging our booties. <laughs> A little bit out of the spot, but that's just what happens when you have a whole extra set of wheels back here. So we got pranked, by the way. You come around this way. We got pranked already. Yep. Day what? two on Rally Life. So we started off with this. Oh, oh man. Oh, is it, it, is it barely hanging on there? It's, it's pretty fitting. I'm not gonna lie, cowboy butts. Yeah, you keep going though. Oh, there's more. Wait, what? What's keep this? We got what are these? Suck hey. a bag of dicks. Is what it says. Well, yeah. I want. Can you actually suck them? I'm guessing, they look, uh, I'm guessing they're edible. Yeah. No way. All right, people are rolling out of here right now. This thing's got remote start like my Raptor does, but it has a much cooler motor because we have the Factory R Supercharged V8 5.2. Hit it. Yeah. So if you guys haven't tuned into the last video, Hennessy themselves has lent us this First one of one Velociraptor R 6x6 and we get to take it all on Legends Rally. We're out here spectating. We're in like drone mode just above all of the uh, exotics, but this thing keeps up surprisingly well. Yo, Justin, what do you want? Look what they put on our truck. <laughs> <laughs> Suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> Let's go. I never oh. opened that. Dude, that back window was open the whole night. <laughs> oh, shit. Good thing we didn't leave anything valuable in here. For real. That's, uh... Dude, someone actually took it, I was gonna say! It's, it's a little, it's a little cold in here. <laughs> we forgot to get our route card. Do you think you can grab yeah, it? I'll grab it real quick. <laughs> hey, yo, go fetch that real quick. Yeah. Oh, no! Did nice. it just fly? Yeah, it just <laughs> had one dude, job, dude, Mr. Car sounds behind us. He just witnessed that whole thing. <laughs> good it's stiff but it's a little stiff yeah it's been a riot man it's been good other than Zach taking the front seat for me for a little while yesterday and other than that yeah the, could the be. amount of the amount of attention we get in this is unparalleled like you think oh yeah the, you know the F8 the events or whatever no this thing this yeah. thing it's all of it yeah. literally as much as like a Lambo it's a Lambo in truck form I guess <laughs> me when you get gapped by a freaking Hennessy Velociraptor <laughs> Andale, andale. Oh my, oh my god. On the brakes. <laughs> Sharp right hander. Nice little left. Hang on. Oh. oh, dude, the traction control did not like that. <laughs> it was like, I don't know what's happening to all four wheels back there. This thing is surprisingly agile, 
And man, it is fast. Like, I don't want to like be the rude big behemoth that is blocking some of these guys, but we are still at least keeping up. And God, I just never would have expected that. Dude, I'm like all over. Zach's, Zach's got the handle going on oh, back yeah. there. <laughs> I got the ocean handle. No bolstering back there, just a bench. Yep, I'm just on a flat. If you are wondering what miles to the gallon we've been averaging, there you go, 8.5 right down there. And you can see when I'm on throttle, it actually has a little bandwidth meter that just shows like what it anticipates. Clearly right now when I'm off, it's really good. But as soon as we get back on throttle, yeah, it's like five. <laughs> Not exactly that efficient. It's a little windy and cold it now. It might right now because we're in the sun, but it is freezing right now. Yeah, you want to know how cold it is? Freaking oh, yeah. <laughs> over here. Boom. Snowball. We got, we got, <laughs> we got snow out here. Wow. Well, we saw it. Yeah. Let's, All right, uh, let's go, go to, to let's go world. to Seattle. <laughs> let's <Yeah>. go home. <laughs> So just like that, we have arrived in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are going to roll out for the signature traditional police escort through the Vegas Strip. This is actually the first time we're doing it at complete darkness. So we're gonna have all the Vegas lights out there, but all the cars are getting amped up. Zach's gonna be in the back and we have people in the bed. So I'm gonna pass down the camera later on. We're gonna be able to film all the action from our extended eight foot Velociraptor bed. Oh, that sounds so good. This is a sign of how eager and antsy everyone is to get on the strip right now. Corvette sounding this good. This is crazy. It is officially time. We are getting on the Las Vegas Strip and look at that. Fully blocked off just for us. Holy crap. Oh man, what a sight this is. The Wraith with the bicycle. Dude, the screens are so bright. They're lowering the exposure of my camera. Oh, man. It's so much chaos! Oh! Woo! This is crazy. Y'all four deep? <laughs> Will one. we make it? Oh, we survived. Oh. Oh, no. oh sh. Oh, that's close. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, are we going to clear that? Yo, I actually don't think we'll clear that. Part two of the limbo. I don't think we're clearing that, dude. I'm not fit. <laughs> hey, here we go. Oh. Oh. oh 
Oh, the antenna didn't clear. Zach, you're gonna die, bro. Yo, yo, yeah! Let's go! Let's go! They treated us with luxury with the encore and we have Sphere View, which apparently is a value in itself to which you just get to watch YouTube ads the entire night. I guess that concludes Legends Rally 3. Our second Legends Rally, but the third episode of their saga. This is my first time just seeing a Cybertruck out in the wild. And I mean like literally, it's just parked here casually in this lot of other actual cars. Kind of fitting it's in the handicap spot because man, it does not look like any other production vehicle by any means. I was pointing out to Jack this crazy, in my opinion, just an insane thing that I never would have thought would ever pass like the, the impact. Yeah, section. just any sort of safety legalities. And it's like, okay, imagine you're walking down the road, right? And you get hit by this. You're gonna get skinned alive, man, I swear. It's like, <laughs> it's so thin and it looks like a, it looks like a science project. Like, it looks like someone like at home made it out of their like, garage. Yeah, the panels aren't even like perfectly aligned. That that is really pointy. <laughs> like they freaking banned the ZL1 1LE canard canard. Oh, oh, they banned the canards on my Camaro in the UK because that was a freaking pedestrian hazard. But I think the entire truck itself is a pedestrian hazard. So it was only mandatory when we have a lifted six by six with off road tires that we take ourselves to the complete open dry lake bed but there's a little bit of an issue uh, i could barely keep my door open in that yeah <laughs> it's pretty windy out here so we have this but we also got the vets out here the narrow body and the wide body so this is our vip front row seat viewing spot of yeah. the donuts <laughs> They're filthy now. <laughs> I like how you picked the outside of the damage zone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Chris's hoodie isn't black anymore. Oh, man. Oh, my God. to Hennessy a little dustier than they wanted it. They got some uh, mud rivers and some other harsher terrain out here. So I figured we actually might as well use the six by six, all six wheels putting its power down and put it through some actual proper off-roading since we haven't been able to do that on this uh, asphalt rally this whole time.
entire time we have not driven this thing with all six wheels putting the power down. It is insane. Our time with this truck is slowly working its way to an end and I'm gonna miss it. This thing is basically, I call this the privilege mobile. Freaking parking has not even been that much of an issue just because you just assert your dominance anywhere and you can really just throw it anywhere you want. And then there's just the amount of sheer attention that you get everywhere you go in this thing. As far as a vehicle for rallying, it has done its job way better than I could have ever anticipated. The power that this thing puts down, especially when you also have all six wheels working at once, it's pretty darn fast. But either way, regardless of if you'd be a Ford Raptor guy or not, you can always just go get the Mammoth Package 6x6 that Hennessy offers as well. And if anything, I'd be actually curious to how that thing faces up to this now that Ford has a supercharged V8 option. Now I'm sure the main curious question you guys all have is how much has gas been on this truck? And since it is the last night and the last fuel up, my credit cards won't fully update all the pending transactions, so I can't give you an exact amount. But I would say we've averaged around six gas stops on each of the two days of the rally. So let's say 12 total. And I would say some stops were $80, some stops were $60. I never ran the tank all the way dry because I filled it up so consistently. If you top the thing off fully, it's probably around like $150 to $160. But with 80 and 60, put it in the middle at 70 times 12. I would say so far the total amount of gas money that we've spent on this rally is about $860. That definitely doesn't make it a very cost effective vehicle to rally, but my alternative was going to be another different Hennessy vehicle, which is the Exorcist Camaro with a cammed V8 that makes about a thousand horsepower. That too wouldn't have done me any better. In fact, I honestly think it would have done me worse on gas money for rallying. So either way, I'm, I'm not too beaten down by it. It's such a cool opportunity. I mean, any opportunity's got to come with a little bit of a price. Well, we have returned here to beautiful Arizona at the Zach establishment. You guys will have to stay tuned for the next video because I do keep a very special car here at Zach's place that also shares the Hennessy badge. And uh, we're gonna get the two of these things together. My knees are dying. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>